I had a video up about John Quincy St. Clair Hyperspace Research Institute and the TR-3B Electromagnetic Photon Wormhole Spacecraft. If you're curious about the TR-3B, there's actually a basis for the name. It's actually a series number for an actual thing that existed that was called the TR-2B or TR-2 or something like that. And the object that it describes is a dead ringer for an actual airplane that people didn't know about at the time. But when people saw the airplane, they decided they were going to make it not a secret project by the Air Force because it flew right over them at, at, a, at an air show that year. They decided to say it had to be a spacecraft from space. It had to be aliens. Even though, again, it, they were describing a specific, like a stealth bomber or something. And... It had to be driven off of red matter or some other thing, red mercury or something like that. And, well, we have perfectly good photos of it. And you see very infamous triangular-shaped spacecraft, except that the person who built them, built the fake version and took photos of it, showed people how he did it. For your information, I have several of these devices on video. One ID on my video, Transformers, Nature and Disguise. Robots and Disguise. I don't really know what's going on. So let's go on to the next one. No true Donald Trump supporter could inject disinfectant, almost cleaning lung for the COVID-19 coronavirus. I was making fun of Donald Trump, literally stumbling on his words and saying something fantastically stupid. He got excited, went off on a tangent, and instead of actually doing what you would want someone to do who's running the country and has a finger on the button, he says it's bigger than everybody else's, he doubled down and acted as antagonistic and anti-intelligent as possible. He, I have a problem with that. So this person is now going to obviously address the subject of whether or not Donald Trump actually mentioned disinfectant in lungs. Right? You need help. Your hatred is eating you alive. You're consumed by it. The way that you visually present your videos is very dark. Anti-goth asshole. Next. It appears like you enjoy spreading disdain, vengeance, and ridicule. I damn you to hell and I hope you burn in fire and hell. I'm, I'm kidding. He isn't saying that. Hatred and fear. Are you going to address the subject matter of Donald Trump actually saying that? He wasn't being sarcastic. He really did say that. We need to pray for our leaders to the Lord to change them if we feel they're wrong. Are you almost breaking through your conditioning to admit that Donald Trump said something dumb and that he needs help? Maybe he needs Jesus? Pray to the Lord to open their eyes to the truth and stop their evil ways. So you're saying, you're acknowledging that maybe Donald Trump and the rest of them are evil, but you don't want me to, quote, insult them or, or chide them or something? Calling the sheep disgusting names just promotes the hatred that consumes you. I will pray to the Lord for you to spread the truth with love and stop the hate. You worship the devil. You do not consciously acknowledge that you're acknowledging that you're 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 unconsciously acknowledging that Donald Trump was wrong about something and you will not tolerate me actually pointing that out. I don't expect an instant miracle. I can only assume that you'll respond with a sarcastic vile response. Now, I'll tell you that you're ignoring the fact that I proved my point and you can't address it. Did Donald Trump lie about making a joke about putting disinfectant into people's lungs? Yes, he lied about that. He really did say that. He is guilty of being stupid. That's what I'm pointing out. I'm not filled with hatred and that's not eating me alive. Donald Trump did something incredibly stupid and very reckless and very dangerous. And you being absolutely blinded blinkered into not acknowledging it proves my point. Thank you for posting this. On Travis James and Greg Johns McMichael. 
one using a 357 Magnum and the other one using a shotgun in Brunswick, Georgia, an upscale neighborhood, to murder someone named Arbery. I got a few people saying thank you. I got a few people saying very good things. Thank you very much. Then I get this one. So what gives you the right to chase and kill a person? Because you're white and angry? Call the police. This is a lynching. Why did the cop investigation investigating not lay charges? No manslaughter, nothing. Is this place safe? This is a massive market against Georgia. I don't want to go there to go for business. Delete my comment if you want. This is going big and you can't stop it. So you didn't watch the video where I'm... You didn't look in the video where I literally have his address and phone number so you can call him. You literally ignored the entire point of a fucking video explaining why I can't stand it when some son of a bastard overtly murders somebody and we don't say he murdered them. The only reason anything is being done about it is because a video recorded it. And again, did you notice I gave advice on how to avoid this? If you are confronted with, I mean, he, the, the kid had no option. He was, he, he was trapped. There's no way, I mean, they were going to shoot him for running away. And let's listen to an apologist counter you and me, even though you thought you were countering me. I agree with you, but stop this. Other people in the neighborhood said there had been multiple thefts in the area. Yeah, but none of them actually reported jack shit. There were no reports. They didn't report anything. Other people from the neighborhood weren't involved in this incident, like the person who filmed the whole thing. Okay, true. The, the runner attacked the man who was legally brandishing a gun, and he was shot. He attacked again and was shot again. This can clearly be seen in the video. There's more to the video than has been released yet. Now, that may be possible. Let me point this out to you. I have a right to kill you if you point a gun at me. He's brandishing. It's not legally brandishing. Brandishing is something you put on a fucking arrest warrant. They pursued and brandished a gun. They pursued him with guns and brandished a gun. That is criminal intent to murder. It's immediate justification for blowing their fucking head off of the person brandishing the gun. The first thing I would have done if I was carrying an 81 caliber, a.k.a. a 9-gauge, a.k.a. a shotgun pistol, which I'm going to get a permit for one of these days. You can actually do that, by the way. I can legally own one. I can get a permit for it in Portland easier than I can a pellet gun, which is really fucking weird. But anyway... Uh, if somebody comes out and like, all right, I'd say put the gun back in the vehicle or I'm going to treat you as an imminent threat. Or uh, if you can't pronounce imminent, you're going to die because you don't know what the word means. Put the fucking gun in the car. You are, bam, and that man is dead. Hey, you're his father? Yeah, you're going to be burying your son. I'm pointing the next shot at you. This is a double barrel muzzle loader, 12 gauge shotgun pistol. I can get it without a permit. By the way, you can do that. You're going to drop your weapon because you don't want to be dead. If you're being pursued by an attacker and you don't have room to move and you need to have a gun, I know how to disarm and kill a person, I guess. I don't want to. I'll run. I'll find some place to hide. I've watched the video since I've done this video. I don't know how I would have been able to handle it. He, did, he They didn't give him any fucking room to run away. He managed to run around the vehicle. They decided, no, no, you ain't getting away. Wrong neighborhood. I really don't know what I would do. This, this makes me furious. I have been pursued by somebody with a gun. Yes, I was able to disarm one person. That's fine. I've stopped a person from pulling a gun on someone saying, He ran! You aren't armed anymore. Now go kick his ass and see if you make it. But you're not going to do it with a gun. Well, it's an equalizer. It's not an equalizer if they're not armed too. I'll make sure it's an equalizer. Let me give him a machine gun. No, even better. A big baseball bat with nails in it. Uh, to the double dickhead with a backflip that said it was a neighborhood, bad neighborhood, he was also attacking him. He was being murdered. He has a right to defend himself. Fuck you. He was legally brandishing a gun. Show me the other videos. No link? No mention of the name? I'm sure the kid was guilty of something, right? Unless what you are doing would never come into question if you shoot somebody don't shoot them. They both go to prison. His dad lied. We're done. I want them both in prison. Judy Ann Mikovits Lab 
the XMRV contaminated COVID-19 vaccine and Anthony Stephen Fauci. She's a conspiracy theorist who was caused to happen because she did a lab experiment by request by somebody who wanted to prove something, anything, was causing some medical problem. And when she did an experiment where her lab work was contaminated because they didn't follow procedures and she got fired for it, she decided to claim that everything in the world is about her. I think you should listen to her side of the story. She stated she's not anti-vaccine. She says one thing and does another. She says shit that squeals and and walks and clucks like a fucking anti-vaxxer. And she's saying anti-vax shit now. Next assertion. She never took her work. You would know if you'd listened to her talk. Her claim is she didn't take her work. Same thing with her lawyer. And then later on, they accidentally returned the work that they stole. She stole the work. They just didn't admit any guilt afterwards, and afterwards she kept lying. There's no punishment for lying as long as you aren't being able to punish for it. She was in jail. They raided her house several times, and then the notebook showed up after the raid in an open closet. So it must be a setup. No, she acknowledged on paper that she turned it over after being released, and it wasn't from a raid. She lied about that later, too. Just so you know, she is law, by law wasn't allowed to talk about it until recently. She was put under gag order. Or she agreed to stop lying about somebody for a few years. Or none of that happened. Everything you're saying about it is dead wrong. Do your research. I did. And everything she asserted also was laced with conspiracy theory shit which invalidates her. If she wanted to prove a point, don't sandbag yourself. Don't, crit- don't ruin yourself this way. Many of them are wrong. Judy is right about XMRV, and it was proven by two different scientists years and years and years before she ever did it. But years afterwards, it was found that their work and her work were wrong, and she had to admit in writing that she was wrong about XMRV being the cause of all this shit. She admitted she was wrong. And then later on, when she got propped up by more conspiracy theorists than anti-vaxxers, she went ahead and just said she was uh, coerced and they, and they bludgeoned her and Dr. Fauci threatened her over the internet. I have MECFS and I got it after getting vaccines, which I am now 90% bedridden. Honestly, I don't care anymore. You're not going to solve the medical problem. I don't even know what that is. I'm sorry. I hope you are not going to be injured any further, and I hope you get better. But she is lying, and you are lying for her. So I have a lot of trouble with you right now. She is a whistleblower that they couldn't pay off. She's a hero. No, she's not. She's exploiting this for personal gain. She's a grifter. You still going to roll up your sleeve for a vaccine? Actually, I don't need one, but I might, as long as I know it's safe. Now, I'm not going to come up with a conspiracy theory about it. Lol, told you all this shit going to go down, bro. This man believes everything the mainstream media tells him. No, I evaluated this too, just like you did. I just didn't come here with a bias. If she actually provided proof that every vaccine was infested, that's great. She didn't attempt to do that. She just tried to prove that she wasn't wrong at one experiment years and years ago. She never got over being proven wrong. And she even had to acknowledge it in writing. She had to acknowledge in writing she was wrong. And it broke her heart. So she found a group of people who were going to tell her whatever she wanted to hear as long as they got a fake assessment from her because she's a former researcher. Sad to see Waptec's arrogance. If only he listened to her side and understood the corruption. There may be corruption going on, but then she sticks in aliens and frogs gay shit. She's invalidated herself. You're always on the wrong side of history. I'm asking you who you think is going to win in a sporting event and the bet opposite. A lot of people bet against the favorite because that way you get a higher payoff, but I'm not doing that. A good conspiracy theory turns a believer into a hero, a warrior, secret knowledge holder, and other arrogant sheeple. They don't know anything. They're fighting the forces of evil. They're heroes. Self-aggrandization. Delusions of grandeur. You're soaking in it. So yeah, I think the murderers should go to jail and I think the liars should shut up and I think you should stop propping them up and calling them heroes. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Good luck with that. Even if you didn't get what I said.